Hi! Thanks for stopping by. In this video I'll do my best to teach you how to get up and running with XPath. That being said, let's get started. Alright cool, so what is XPath? XPath stands for XML Path. Some of you might already know what XML is, but for you who don't know, XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. It's a standard format that is used uh, pretty broadly across the internet actually. The XML is just a set of nodes or well, tags within those nodes or tags. It's very obvious what information there is. That being said, let's get back to topic which is XPath. Uh, it's a query language which you can use to query nodes for information you want to see within your XML file. Now what threw me off in the beginning was the word query or query or whatever. If you don't know what it means, you can look at, it, at the word as like uh, request. So essentially we will be requesting or asking the tags or nodes like, hey, could I please see the information you're carrying? Now for nodes or well tags, I'm, we're going to refer to it as nodes. I'm going to assume that 90% of you who are watching this don't know what a node is and that's fine. I didn't know what it meant uh, in the beginning as well, like when I started learning about XPath. To be fair, XPath, the, the whole XPath syntax scared me in the beginning, but that's <laughs> another story. Uh, a node is just an element object in the DOM, or well, the document object model. And with other words, it's just a HTML element which usually consists of a start and an end tag with a content inserted in between. Now, if we look at this, this being the, the DOM, the hierarchy, so this is a node, uh, that's a node, uh, a node, they're all tags, so like tags, nodes, depends on what you're doing, but let's, um, all you know, this is all going to make so much more sense once we get into like working with XPath, but for now, you, all you need to know is that in a HTML document, the whole DOM, uh, the, these are nodes and then you have attributes like the div, the div tag has an attribute of a class and then there's some content in there. Anyways, now you're probably like, well, we're going to look through a HTML, uh, uh, I can't even speak. <laughs> we're going to look through HTML objects, uh, so why would you need the whole XML thing? Now, XPath's job is just to traverse through nodes found in the markup, and since both XML and HTML or HTML are both markup languages, uh, this is what we're doing. Now, the application we'll be using to get familiar with XPath, uh, nodes, child nodes, and whatever, it, it's called XML Choir. It's a free download, so you can either check the description or Look at the link up here, and um, it'll take you to their homepage. It's not very intuitive, but I find it to be a great tool for various reasons and circumstances. For instance, breaking down a big DOM hierarchy. Doing so with this tool can be, or without the tool, can be quite frustrating. And you'll see why in just a second. But this tool is great for practicing your XPath and should get you the hang of it quite easily. We're also going to be using Southwind, which is a pretty much a cleaner version of Microsoft's Northwind. So uh, I'm going to show you how to get everything up and running. So we're going to, I'm, I'm on Windows 10, so I'm going to be downloading Windows 7 to Windows 8. Download the zip, open it. You can even use 7-zip or WinRAR. I'm going to create a new file, folder on the desktop, name it uh, XML, Let's just name it XML, it's fine. Extract all those files into that folder, double click the folder, open up my other monitor, application files, and well you could just extract this folder to be fair. Anyways, we're gonna start up the application, and this is what it looks like. Not very pretty, but we're also gonna get the, the south wind, so let's... I'm gonna be leaving the link in the description to south wind as well. Now, imagine parsing through all of this manually. That'd be really annoying. So we don't really want to do that. Now, I'm also going to be leaving the link to, um, to what's it called, Notepad++. Because creating the XML file can be quite annoying otherwise. Just download uh, Notepad++, it's in the description as well. Paste in whatever you got from this here, which is Southwind, file, 
save as desktop. We're gonna name this South Wind. Since I already have it on the desktop, I'm just gonna name it South Wind 2. And it, there it is. You can close that down, and then you just drag and drop it into XML Choir. And there you go. Now you click it once, and you have all of this right here. Here's where the fun starts. This is where we actually start learning XPath, right? So this button right here, I think you can see my mouse, click it and this little window will pop up and this is going to be the main, the main tool that we'll be using. We can actually put this a bit to the side, we can close that down, I can minimize that, and there's a button in the background. Now, let's start off by, how am I going to explain this? If you do a slash and then the root directory, because we want to access the root directory and everything in it, like all the nodes within it, right? So to access the root directory, you can even do slash and then the name. So it will be windward slash studios and then another slash. Now you can see all the, all the nodes within this. And then there's like sub nodes or well, child nodes, etc. I personally prefer to do just a double slash to access the to access the, the root, so double slash. And if you want to see like the uh, visual representation of the hierarchy, this is what it looks like. So we have the root, right, which is Windward Studios, and then you can access the nodes, and then the nodes within the nodes. So these are the child nodes, and there are more nodes, etc. I, it so far it should be making a little bit of sense, but like once you start actually like doing this, because I'm 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 really hoping that you're following along, that you're actually typing with me, because that's the best way of learning, at least in my opinion. Now, so let's try to access a node in here, right? Let's access uh, what do we want to access? Employ employees. Uh, you should be able to see all the nodes in here. So employee. Now, um, how, um, all of the, this is going to help you, like the node, you can even see on the left side, this is XML nodes. So that's going to help you out. These are all the nodes you can access. So slash, slash, uh, slash, slash employees will get the employees node in the root folder or the root node. You following along so far? Great. Now you can even access the cat category and do some other things here but we're gonna go with employees to begin with all right so we got the employees cool now we can even do a slash and now you can see that we can access uh, the individual employee employee and there we go now we can do a slash again and now we get all the nodes for the employee so you see how it's like a hierarchy, it keeps going down. You can just follow the rabbit hole however far you want. So um, let's see, we want to get, get, get the last name. So last name. Now we get the last name of every employee in this the document. So now you can see why this tool is really good to have, because it helps you tremendously on the side. And um, yeah, XPath is just such a powerful tool to have as well. So let's say you want to be a bit more specific, right? I I hate this tool. Here we go. Cool. Sorry about that. Um, let's say you want to be a bit more specific. Um, let's just do this because this thing usually likes to mess with me. Employees slash employee. See, I don't like that. Employees <laughs> slash employee and uh, slash last name. Now we can be a bit more specific if we wanna if we wanna filter uh, something, right? I will be leaving like a I should have a sheet sheet uh, picture right here. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna be leaving this picture. For you to check out in the description as well it's a sheet sheet it's gonna help you a lot let's say we want to filter something i'm gonna have this open so you can actually follow along when i use this whole thing so let's say we want to get a employee 
by their last name. So uh, employee, and then we're gonna filter the employee by last name. It's case sensitive as well, so be careful. Uh, equals single quotes and wait now we, we need to get a last name that we can filter by let's get uh, let's see Callahan equals Callahan. there we go now as you can see we've filtered the employee by their last name and we've grabbed just Callahan right Super simple. That's how you filter through. You can filter through even more. We can go through, uh, let's say, employee ID. So employee and because that's an attribute. So we're going to have to use the at sign, which says attribute. Because if we look through this, right, you can see the employee ID. That's a attribute of the employee node. Same goes for this right here. Class being the attribute of div. Simple. So let's do at employee ID. Now we should be able to. Uh, I wonder if we can do even more. just uh, it's either buggy or okay uh, here we go now we filter the employee by their employee ID uh, well the attribute employee ID so that teaches you how to use the attribute and as you can see, we've got an Janet, I think her name is. Yeah. And I'm, I'm trying to think, is there anything else we could do to to show you how XPath works? Because I, now that you know how to like navigate through, I will be leaving you with a, a link to the syntax. So you can actually play around with this yourself. And um, yeah, let's see what else can we do. All right, so let's use a function that's really nice and really handy in uh, XPath. That <coughs> function being concat, which concats two strings together, a string being a series of characters. And uh, yeah, so let's do one of the examples we have here to show you how it works, right? Con we're, I'm gonna walk through every, pretty much everything we've done so far. Con Concat. I'm gonna sneeze. Concat. And the things we're gonna concat, we need to put in these uh, open, open and closing brackets. And inside, we're putting two values. So we're gonna concat that with that, right? Now that's not gonna work because it's invalid syntax. So let's do. Let's enter the root directory. Employees slash employee we're using the slash to uh, dive into the child node of the one that we just typed so the employee is the child of, of employees and we want to do uh, we want to get the ac an attribute from this so we're gonna we want to filter the employee by at employee ID equals four. We're using at because employee ID is a attribute. As you can see right here, we have the employee node and then the employee or employees node and then the employee child node and then the employee child node has a attribute of employee ID. Great. Now, uh, and we want to get uh, the first name because we're so far we're getting. There we go. We are getting the employee by their ID, and then we're getting the first name. Um, I hope that makes 
sun so far, it should. Now let's do the same thing, but we're gonna get the person's last name as well. As you can see, that works, but we need to change the first name to last name. And Margaret Peacock, perfect. Like, see that it looks kind of kind of bad because, well, there's no space in between. We can change that by going to the middle here, where the where we split the two strings, or we'll split split the two values that we want, and we just add another uh, colon and a space. And in here, we do double quotes, well, single quotes, two of them. And then just space in between and technically that works that's how to use functions uh, the concat concat function is one of them we have the employees you and this is the double slash is the root or we can go through this picture right here double slash is the root one slash is dive into the child element or the child node you use the square brackets to filter something then you can use the add symbol to gain or get the attribute of the node and uh, here is an example showing you how to filter by attribute and uh, here's an attributes example so the class being the attribute of the div and uh, yeah i think that's all again i will be leaving all the documents you'll be needing in the description so there will be the link to the syntax of XPath so you could play around with that, get to know the, the syntax a bit more. And trust me, just do, 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 and you'll get to, you'll, you'll understand XPath so much easier once you actually dive into it and start playing around with it. It's super fun, it's super powerful, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.